I'm Lucille Tanazas and I am the chair of the jury this year for the Global Design Awards. I'm also the Henry Bull Professor in Communication Design at Parsons New School for Design in New York, as well as the design principal of the NASA Design. I was told that there were more entries this year than in previous years. This is your fifth year running. And so when I was asked to be the chair of the jury, I was really interested in seeing how um, how the process would go, what kinds of categories there were, how disparate our opinions would be, because there were 17 or so jurors. We all represent different skills, different disciplines, different agendas, if you will. Um, and so I was really interested in seeing what things we have in common, what issues, ideas we agree on, and what may be things that we would disagree on. This was a really tough jury. I think uh, all the way to the the first day was really just selecting what, which pieces we were be considering, the in and out uh, process, so to speak. And then today, starting today, we really had to deliberate and rank those that deserve recognition. And, and, and three different prizes, gold, silver, and bronze. We were uh, very particular about the caliber of quality of craft. I think that there was a, a good balance of people who paid attention to the content, and also people who paid attention to the aesthetics. Uh, my personal take on things, especially for me, what qualifies as worthy of consideration are things that are submissions that were both poetic. Uh, and pragmatic, if you will, but they do provide me an entry point to understand there's, an, uh, there's a, a, represent, a, a representation of the work that is clear, but then that I see it, I look at it, and then there's an opportunity for me to study it and, and devote time to really try and understand what the message is. So it's, I'm not so much interested in the sort of 10 second response because I think you know a lot of the times you know we are drawn to something we look at it we're bowled over by it but then it doesn't stay long with us you know the shelf life so to speak of one piece is not something that stays um, and for me what's more interesting is like I would look at something why did I get drawn to this and then ask myself the question why does it stay with me and why does it make me ask questions of so I, I actually like things that make that pose questions that would not necessarily provide the answers, but they provoke these kinds of um, questions. So this year would be, I guess this this could be an anomaly. I, I hope it doesn't happen again. And the reason I say this is because some of the entries for social good were responses to uh, like when Yolanda or I in the Western world, and so. When people marshal their efforts and their energies, design energies, to produce something, the criteria isn't always necessarily based on aesthetics. It's still obviously a consideration, but it's more about a social, um, a social approach that would marshal everybody's efforts to respond in a positive way. So there's a digital, and a lot of these tools are mostly digital. And even the ones that we saw eventually that were formally well executed, conceptually interesting, provocative, are also in the digital world. And so me, uh, as, a, as, a, as somebody trained in print, in doing traditional media, you know, predominantly, even if I do work in the digital realm, it does pose the question of how relevant is this medium of print or 2D? And, and are the practitioners of this medium are actually pushing the, the profession forward in using this medium or do they have to rethink how this medium could be a hybrid medium, for example, as opposed to just one. 